Okay, welcome back. Um, this is a continuation of a series of videos we're making based on a workshop we held in Grenoble. And this is the first of the deep learning videos. So deep learning is the strength of Dragonfly software. Um, it's, um, I'm by no means the expert in this, but I'm going to do my best to demonstrate the different ways of using artificial intelligence and deep learning in the software and the logic behind it a little bit. And basically, I hope this can get new users to use the software and segment their data in a better way using deep learning tools and also for expert users to uh, understand a little bit some of the other ways of using artificial intelligence maybe compared to how they've been using it so far. So, all right, I'm going to get started. <clears throat> the first demonstration that I want to do is the noise to void. Uh, what's going on here? Ah, okay. This card. So I was doing a previous video and I wanted to redo it. So let's just delete everything. Right. So I've loaded up a, a noisy data, <clears throat> a data set of a scan of powders, you will see quite a lot of speckle noise. If you look carefully, also some ring artifacts there. So these are uh, metal powders meant for additive manufacturing. And some of them have pores inside. You can see that over there. Um, the interest here with the noise to void is to do a denoising of this. You can also use traditional image filtering toolbox, which you find there. There's actually a lot of image filtering tools included in Dragonfly, and these are very useful. Um, but what I want to demonstrate here is a deep learning denoising method. So for all de uh, deep learning tools, we need data set that um, is the input. We have a, a frame which we can use for visual free feedback. So what I did is I select annotate, create a little rectangle. So we will use this for feedback and um, to visualize how the training is progressing. And let's say we want a region of interest that um, will be the mask that um, we're going to be training on. So let's say we um, use it again on the segmentation tool, a paintbrush and we just paint this particular slice and let's paint another slice as well. So we're using two, two slices for the training. I think that'll be enough. And what we're gonna do now, we click on the image channel, go to artificial intelligence, custom defect, a uh, deep model architecture, noise to void. So we're gonna go, we don't want to apply an existing one. We want to train a new one. So I'm going to click on new year. Um, this is the typical denoising. Let's call it the demo powder model. Right, so we've got a demo powder model, which is not trained. Input is the metal powders. The mask is the mask, which I've just created. Now, very important here, the um, you can use different inputs actually. You can use uh, different data sets as input for training. If you want to generate a, a robust model for different scans, for example, uh, generate additional training data by augmentation. So here we can increase the augmentation. The more you do it, the longer it takes, but the better the result is. So we're gonna take something in between there. And I'm going to, it, it's basically creating more data by flipping your data and shearing it and scaling it and making it brighter and uh, increasing adding more noise to it and so on so we're going to add also a preview uh, not a preview frame sorry let me just check here a feed visual feedback frame not a preview a visual feedback frame region three and then we are, once we've set that up we can train so now this is the training progress bars, which you will see a lot when you're doing deep learning. Um, the visual feedback frame is seen on the right and on the left, you'll see the loss and um, loss value, which should decrease with um, the best result plateauing at zero, 0, 0.000. Um, so basically as the model gets better, 
these values reduce and sometimes they jump up and down. So it's good to leave them for some time. Um, there's some early stopping, which uh, you can also override if you want to. Um, but basically we've got a model which we can now check that by as it progressed, how things got better or worse. And we can close this. I don't uh, think that actually did a really great job. We might have to do more augmentation here and we might have to increase the noise, even the brightness maybe a little bit. Let's do that again. Let's train it again. So it might take slightly longer, but it's quite small data. So it's, I've cropped the data very small and it should be quite, um, should be working quite okay. So deep learning uses the graphics card of your computer. So um, typically gaming computer graphics cards are quite good. Um, in the case of this, what I'm doing here, I've got a NVIDIA um, GTX, uh, GE, GTX 3070. So um, not the best in the world, but it's okay. All right, so the training didn't really improve in this case. Um, this is the denoised and this is the original. So it's, it's actually pretty good if you look at it like that. This is the original data and this is the denoised version. So if we close that, the next thing we can do is we can um, apply the model. So the input is called metal powders and we want to use the, um, where is it? Oh, I should save the model first. And now we can apply the model to some, so the demo powder model, which we just trained, it's the 15th of July today when I'm recording this, we're going to apply it to metal powders and now we apply it to all slices. So just to, to explain a bit the logic, you don't need to train the model every time you want to apply this model. You can also, on your next powder scan, take the same model and just apply it directly. I will show you now a way to do that. So it's now using this model and applying that to all slices in the data and um, creating a new data set, which we will be able to compare to the original and work on further. Right. So let's say we are now, if we are now done here, we've now got this data, which is actually quite nice. If we look at the original data over there and we look at the, the noise, that's actually very good. And the way that we can look at that, actually, we can also just refresh our memories on the ruler tool. So if we look at, let's say, across this region here, let's say we go across a powder particle or across two powder particles like that, we can do a profile intensity. We can put, the, put a lot of these things off. We're only interested in the original and the final result, which is the green is the original. It's not so clear here. Let's just make that maybe brighter blue on the original and on the inference, we make it red. So this is a, maybe a brighter red. So the denoised model is looking like that. So there, that is a very nice result. Okay, so we can also delete that ruler or put it off, uh, visibility off. So that's a denoising filter using deep learning. The way to apply it, if you didn't do it just after training on your next data set, you can go to um, seg uh, no, artificial intelligence, filter with AI. Where is that? 
Let's have a look here. Where is it? Filter with AI. We're going to use No, oh, not those. Wait a minute. Let's see. Uh, okay, hang on. Okay, I guess for the noise to void, it's slightly different than segmentation because it's uh, using an, an uh, denoising approach. So we just use it here. You just go to apply, you select your model, the input and apply. So as I demonstrated before, there's no short, shorter cut than that, but you don't need to train again. So that's the noise to void. All right. Um, I'm going to move to a different data set now. And uh, what I want to do is uh, let's just do create a new session. Um, let's actually stop at this point so that we have more shorter videos. Okay, see you in a minute.